Hey everybody, Dana Stovern here with the Magic of Somatic Money and we are back to do a review on the new 5D money timelines as they happened last week. And before we get started, two things. This video, I am making it available. If you want a free Somatic Money read from me, just type READ in the comment section or DM me and I will get back with you, uh, get a conversation started with you. Time, let's go ahead and get started. I want to take a look at you with the Schumann resonance along with solar flares, astrology, and the gateways. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And so the first thing that I want to highlight has to do with these gateways. And I went just in the last 24 hours, I learned a lot better what spirit team is talking about when they were talking with me about gateways. Now, a couple weeks ago, if you were with me when I started this, um, the spirit team was really clear about tracking for gateways, tracking for gateways. And I thought gateways were going to be these high energy events. And I thought that's what I was predicting with my pendulum. Turns out that is not so. And the tip off for me is like I tended to like the pendulum would land on a gateway, um, but that really didn't like the energies were coming in like a day beforehand. And I got to talking with spirit team. And as I walked through the gateways this week, what I began to realize is like, oh, pendulum check is picking up on higher vibrational consciousness gateways where we literally are walking through thresholds into new consciousness levels. And this is different than a timeline jump. Like we do enough of these gateways and then the big event, the, the timeline jump, we naturally do that. And so this is kind of like an in-between process. So let me walk you through what happened this week that was just um, so very fascinating. Well, um, I think first out of the gate, um, we were back into um, solar flare. Um, we were back into geomagnetic storm and solar flare activity. Like, look at that right there. We are back into a solar max. This peak that's happening right here, that's July of 2024. The last peak that happened like that was in about 2002. And that right there, folks, is a picture of the sun's, the sun's uh, sunspots for the month of July 2024. So it has been very active. And we began this week with a triple CME that hit us on Monday. So Monday, we had a triple CME that um, the uh, spaceweather.com people called a cannibal CME. Three CMEs came together and turned into one, and that really hit by the end of the day on Monday at the same time that we had that flare up with the Schumann. So we literally were getting um, energy pulsing through from the earth underneath us as we were receiving energy in from the sun um, above us. Like we were, uh, we were in an energy sandwich by the end of the day Monday. And I don't know about you, but I was pretty flat out. I was almost in migraine territory. Um, we went through that into the evening, um, woke up from that kind of tender and we weren't, we weren't done. And here's, um, I didn't like, I had the solar flare pendulum checked Tuesday was open, but we got hit with a Schumann's and you know, that Schumann's doesn't look like much, but don't let it deceive you. We had a massive cellular release. Um, that happened right around 9 or 10 a.m. at Pacific Standard Time. And what I mean by massive cellular release, this spike right there went really deep into our cellular code. And um, last week, if you remember, Spirit Team was saying that a lot of people would be in pain. Well, um, I can tell you right there, you know, end of the day, Monday was definitely one. Um, middle of the morning Pacific Standard Time was definitely another one. And that cellular release went so deep that we were required to just let go of everything. It wasn't letting go of any one thing or focus. It was just let go um, of everything. And then you can see where by Wednesday, that's where spirit team pendulum checked and confirmed a gateway. And this is where I began to um, understand a little bit what they meant by gateway. Now, we, we were still kind of in some solar flares happening on Wednesday. I mean, the solar flares are just basically coming um, off and on all week with geomag geomagnetic storms. So it turns out what I could pick up on is as we went through 
the Schumann, a couple of Schumann spikes, a deep cellular release, the solar flares, all those electrons. By Wednesday, we folks, we were in a whole new consciousness gateway right there. And so that's when I began to understand, oh, the gateways are where we're in a new threshold, a new consciousness. It's like, um, it, I mean, spirit team, I, they told me morphic field. It's like a whole other field of consciousness where we're literally just kind of learning from the new consciousness and intelligence of what's in the electrons in the air. I don't, I don't know what other way to put that, but you could definitely feel that we were in a new space. Well, we didn't stop there because um, we had a pretty big lift on Thursday. Now, this Schumann's right there to me felt like ignition. I mean, we got cleaned out there and this felt more like a liftoff or ignition. This was, this turned out to be quite the magical day. We're still in a bit of a geomagnetic storm and Chiron is coming in and doing, um, beginning to go retrograde. Wounded Healer is beginning to review. And I'm, um, Monday was kind of a bit of a magical lift as we're recovering from what we did right there and there. But then we head into Friday, we got hit again pretty darn hard with another um, a more geomagnetic activity. And this is the day that um, Venus squared up with Uranus. So you could feel the astrology and also we were in solar flare energy. Um, and I had picked up on a bit of a disturbance there, but you can see it's all open. But by the end of the day, and look at that, the pendulum picked up on it, and you could definitely feel it. By the end of the day, Friday, you could feel that gateway that we began walking through. And the, the only way that I can describe it was that, you know, by the end of the day, so by the end of the day, Friday, I was, I was really feeling pretty crummy energetically. And I don't know if you guys were feeling the same thing, but even though I felt energetically crummy, Underneath, I had that like expansive feeling of something's afoot that's better, that's good. And there was a feeling from my spirit team of you're walking through the gateway. You're in the morphic field. You're walking through a gateway into new consciousness that you've never, you know, that you, new consciousness and new decisions with new consciousness that you've never done before. And so I, I kind of clocked that mentally. So and Saturday, Saturday, we were full on in that morphic field in that gateway. Like that was pretty much most of Saturday, especially with more um, solar flare activity coming through. And then, um, but what's really interesting is that w I woke up, we woke up to um, another Schumann's resonance surge happening and um, the spirit team confirmed to me that because of the two gateways that we did, you know, gate, gateway day there, gateway day, day there, um, we, en we ended up creating and jumping, going through and doing another timeline jump. And today has definitely felt like whole new world, um, you know, whole new space. And that um, the Schumann's resonance has kind of given us like a zap, uh, give it, given us a, uh, given us a lift. So that's what I've got for you for review on last week's graph. I will have coming up this week, the Somatic Money Oracle deck read, and I will talk more about how the new 5D money timelines connect into all of this. Spirit team really did not want me talking about the Oracle deck stuff um, in this video. And last of all, if you do want to pick up a free read, from me a free somatic money oracle deck read from me especially with these timelines just go ahead and type READ in the comment section or below um, or in my DM and I will pick it up from there with you I hope you're having a good one and I will see you in the next videos for the somatic money oracle deck read for the week as well as what's coming up on the predictive gateways for this week